What's going on, beautiful people? Last night was the NFL Draft, and Miles Garrett was selected number one overall by the Cleveland Browns. So I figured we'd take some time to look at what Miles Garrett could be rated in the upcoming Madden 18 football game. I'm using Madden 17 just as a frame of reference to get some idea of what he could be rated. But let's go through, let's look at some of the stats of Miles Garrett. As I said, Cleveland Browns drafted him number one overall. He is touted as a physical freak of nature. He's coming out of Texas A&M. He was born in 1995, December 29th of 1995, and he hails from Arlington, Texas. Appearance-wise, Miles Garrett is 6'4". Now, he's actually 270. I think it was 272 at the Combine, but if you make him that big in Madden, this is what happens. He looks all sorts of chunky, and that's not Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett is physically fit. He's strong. He's ripped. He's jacked. If you look at pictures of Miles Garrett, he has muscles on top of muscles. So I try to make him as slim as possible and to resemble what he actually looks like in real life instead of that big hulky dude that they have on here in Madden. They really need to fix that for their character customization. Now as far as his ratings and what I think he's going to be, in Madden, if you are one of the top 5 picks or the top 10 picks and they think you're going to be probably the best player of the draft class, usually you are in the lower 80s. For example, Jalen Ramsey of last year, he was an 82 when Madden 17 came out. And Zeke the Freak Elliott was an 80. So I'm thinking Miles Garrett's going to be the best overall player and he's going to be at least an 83. That's my prediction. I think he's going to be better than Ramsey and he's going to start out as an 83 and as I said Miles Garrett is a freak of nature he is strong he is fast I believe he ran like a 4 5 40 and that's 6 4 272 pounds running a 6 or running a 4 5 40 that's insane so he has agility he is fast off the ball with acceleration his first three steps that's really where you win the battle as a defensive lineman now I kept his awareness down a little bit because he is a rookie he isn't to that point yet and if you look on nfl.com and i used jadavion Clowney, nfl.com and joey bosa as my frame of references i use them to guide me on what he's going to be and what miles garrett is going to be his tackling if he hits you as a quarterback or a running back you're usually going down his broad jump was insane and his vertical was better than jadavion Clowney. his vertical was better than joey bosa he, it was 41 inches so i gave him an 86 in jumping now he likes to use the spin move as a finesse move he does have some power but for the most part he's using finesse moves he sometimes struggles to get off a block especially when it's like tunsil or robinson those bigger stronger linemen he sometimes struggles to get off the ball and at times because of texas a&m offense and their offense was high powered high speed i think that caused him to lose stamina at the end of games and his pursuit can sometimes lack especially when the play is away from him play recognition i kept that down because his pursuit once again he doesn't sometimes hustle to the ball especially when he's tired i kept some of the spectacular catches down and i need to move that down even more because i don't think he's going to be one of those people that can just go up and make insane catches possibly if he enhances his skill he could be an outside linebacker in some systems, but I think you're just going to see him at defensive end. So his hit power, once again, he is a great tackler, especially on quarterbacks and especially on running backs. And if you didn't see the quote the other day, his first target is going after Big Ben Roethlisberger. I kept his injury up there in 88. He did suffer some injuries this season, like an ankle, a torn ankle, or not torn ankle, a broken ankle or a sprained ankle. It was... I believe he said he was at like 75% through the entire season. So I kept that at an 88, which is where Jadavion Clowney, he was like an 89 and Bosa was a 90. So I kept him around that range. He doesn't really suffer too many injuries or hasn't really suffered too many injuries, but he's played through it and tried to play through it. Stamina wise, I kept that down mainly because of what you see throughout the year at Texas A&M. Again, that could be because of the high octane offense that Texas A&M has and the amount of plays they run. At times, Garrett was on the field for 80 plays during a game, which is a lot, and you cannot have that as a defense. So, I think he's going to be rated an 83 overall. I think he's either going to be an 83 or an 82. 
And his strengths are his power move, his spin move, I mean, his finesse moves. His finesse moves are what's going to earn him some money. And if he can combine that, according to NFL.com, if he can combine that and attach move combos to where he has it planned out when he's pass rushing, that's really one of the areas he needs to improve as well as block shutting, as well as pursuit. But he is a freak of nature, and his athleticism is really the reason he was drafted number one overall by the Cleveland Browns. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think Miles Garrett is going to be in Madden 18. As I said, I think he's going to be at least an 83 overall. You could see him at an 84 or an 85. Let me know what areas of these stats and of these ratings, whether it's the strength, whether it's the agility, whether it's his finesse move or his power move, let me know where you think I missed completely and needs to be improved. And let me know your ratings for Miles Garrett down below in the comment section. So as always, stay frosty. As always, remember, I love you and I'll catch you next time.